everybody. Thanks for checking in. Got a lot of questions about the types of backpacking food that I carry with me and what my approach to food is while I'm on the trail. Today I'm going to give you, give you a quick run through of what, uh, what my approach to food is while I'm on the trail as well as options to uh, you know, spice up your food and spice up your water. I will tell you that uh, my goal when I'm on a long trip, food's got to be easy to pack, quick and easy to prepare, and it's got to be easy to dispose of the remnants, the packaging or whatever, or be able to easy to pack out. I'm not the type of uh, person who uh, prepares extensive types of meals on the trail, you know, packing a lot of ingredients with me and preparing them. Uh, by the time I've uh, gotten up in the morning or I'm on, or moving on the trail or it's the end of the day, I'm either moving too fast or I'm too tired to do anything like that. So uh, ease of use, quick and easy is the, is the key words of the day here. Cooking utensils, uh, all I use, and I think I showed this in my last, in my uh, backpacking stove one, I use just a, uh, it's a Snow Peak 700 titanium pot, 700 milliliters or two, or three cups is what it holds. Everything that I need is in here. My only utensil I have is a folding spork, it's a titanium spork by Brunton, just in case you're interested. And everything that I need is in here, the actual stove and the fuel for that stove as well. Are all are all in this pot, so everything that I need is in everything that I use is, is here. First thing what you should consider uh, is your calorie goal when you're estimating your daily food requirements. You know how many calories per day do you think you're going to need? For me, uh, that's probably a minimum of about 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day. At that rate, I'm probably losing weight while on the trail. So uh, if I get around 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day, uh, I'm good. So that's my target. Your mileage may vary. You need to figure out your own calorie. But the system that I use here makes it pretty easy to makes it easy to make your food uh, calories flexible. So let's start with breakfast. Uh, in the morning, I have two options. One is uh, make hot water and I'll make oatmeal and uh, standard oatmeal these are little one ounce bags they make about 150 calories in one of these types of bags so figure out you know how many you want uh, you know 150 calories you make, make a couple of these for about 300 calories the second one is uh, I'm a big mountain house fan uh, there's also you know mountain house probably run into mountain house and you run into Backpacker's Pantry quite a bit. Those are the two for the freeze-dried foods. Most of these packets today, they're pretty much all the same. It's a foil type uh, of, of packaging and it's got a Ziploc top in it. So after you tear the top off and you open it up and it stands on its own, once you put the water in it, you can eat right out of it and, and you can clean this out and reuse it for something else. Maybe you want to make oatmeal in it the next day so you're not you can just you're just heating water in your pot and not dirtying up your pot so these can actually become your eating utensils if you're able to have campfires you know this stuff will burn so I've burned these down um, if not since it's so since it's just a package you can roll it up and you can stuff more trash into it and zip it up and they don't get smelly or anything like that it's easy to pack out this one is scrambled eggs with bacon serves one uh, uses one cup of water so you boil a, boil a cup of water, dump it in here, zip it up, shake it up, let it set, and then you eat it. These make about 350 calories right here. So this is a good meal for me. Um, you know, so in the morning, I'll either probably have a couple of these or I'll have one of these for about 300 to 350 calories. So that's how breakfast goes. In the afternoon or uh, when I'm having lunch, uh, I pretty much never make any, uh, I don't cook anything. I've gotten to be a big fan of Cliff Bars or their equivalent. I like the Cliff Bars just because they really are the good energy bars, and uh, they've got a lot of you know really good ingredients, and they actually did taste very well. And they make just make them in just a wide variety of flavors. These right here um, are about 250 calories each. I'll usually eat a couple of these for lunch for about 500 calories, and that's pretty much it. When you get to the end of the day. And now you're talking about dinner. Again, I'll go back to the Mountain House uh, products again. Uh, and my favorite in the Mountain House line are their Pro Packs. And the Pro Packs are 16 ounce entrees, uh, and they weigh about four ounces, and they're vacuum sealed. You can see the difference how it's just been you know, vacuum sealed. So it's very compact as compared to you know, your more traditional you know, air filled type ones. The packaging though is the same in terms of the container, tear off the top and you've got a Ziploc thing in there where you can you know, open it up, pour the water in, put the Ziploc back, 
you know, let it, you know, let it set and then eat it. And then you can uh, easy to pack up and carry out or burn it. These are about 500 calories per serving, give or take. Uh, these are really great to, great to use. And this is, so this is what my go-to for dinner. So for about 500 calories right there. All right, so, so far we've talked about breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, for me, that was about uh, 350 calories for breakfast, about 500 for lunch, another 500 for dinner. So now we're talking about 13 to 1400 calories. I'm short of my 18 uh, to 1900 calories a day. I make that up while I'm moving on the trail. Um, a lot of times you're cruising along and you want some snacks. Um, I usually carry jerky, again, in, a, in the style of packs, you know, that have the Ziploc container so it's easy to open and easy to reseal. So a pack of jerky, I'll carry one of these. This is about, uh, this is a three ounce bag um, and it's got about uh, 250 calories in it. The other thing I'll carry is I'll carry some kind of trail mix. Um, you know, there's so many varieties I won't go into all of those, you know, make your own, buy it, whatever. A bag like this, uh, this is a six ounce bag and it's got about 800 calories in it. You can also have, you know, carry your, your standard um, Nature Valley type granola bars, you know, or, you know, carry more cliff bars. They're easy, eat, eat, easy to eat on the trail as well. Between all of these, I'll probably snack on a variety of these throughout the day while we're cruising and that'll give me about 500 calories a day or five to six hundred calories a day so between these snacks at about five six hundred calories a day and the other thirteen hundred calories i've gotten i'm up to about eighteen nineteen hundred calories the other thing i mentioned was your water while i'm on the trail actually moving on the trail i'll use uh, these electrolyte uh, supplements these uh, hydration supplements this this one's this one is from camelback it's called elixirs and uh, and these are just tablets and they look like big Alka-Seltzer type tablets. You break them off. Each one of these will treat 16 ounces of water. They come in a lot of flavors. This is my favorite, lemon lime. What you get, these are they're effervescent tablets. So what you really get is almost like a lemon lime fizzy soda water type uh, solution that's very refreshing. And what you'll end up with is you know a lot of electrolytes, vitamins, minerals, and no sugar or car carbohydrates in your water. So a very uh, refreshing drink of water that's that's a lot better than just plain water, and it's, uh, and better for you while you're hiking. Now while I'm set, now while I'm sitting down to eat lunch or dinner, uh, again you know plain water's okay, but if I've got options, I'll certainly take it. And one of those, my biggest one is to use some type of just the simple little water flavoring thing, uh, flavored singles uh, like Weiler's or Crystal Light. So one of these will treat an entire container of water and it's obviously very flavorful, just a lot better than plain water. And the last note on water as well, not to forget, uh, is coffee, breakfast and dinner. <laughs> um, I'm a big coffee drinker, I love my coffee. It's a nice treat to warm up in the morning. It's nice to have to relax at the end of the day after you've had a meal and you're getting ready to pack it in your tent. I've tried a lot of things over the years of bringing you know, different types of coffee things. Um, and I, uh, I've really become just a big fan of the coffee singles. You're probably aware of the Via, Starbucks Via. These are really, really good. I can't speak enough about Starbucks Via products. And they make this in, you know, in kind of bold and regular as well as decaf. Um, so I'll, I can heat up my water, put my coffee in, and I'm good to go. If you're somebody who likes uh, you know, something other than just plain you know, black coffee, um, I like to carry a Splenda, makes what they call flavors for coffee. And you can get these in different things like French vanilla, mocha. So you get your, so you get your sweetening and your flavoring all in one. You know, so you dump a couple of these in there and you've got a great cup of coffee. So there you have it. That's uh, my approach to uh, my food while I'm on the trail and the drinking items I use. My goal was easy to pack, flexible, you know, adjust your calorie count, quick and easy to prepare and uh, easy to dispose of. Thanks very much for watching.